Hey guys, this video I'm going to talk about how to implement conversation language understanding in Bot from a Composer. Conversation language understanding is the next generation of Louis. Let's be called as Louis 2.0. I'm not going to in detail about talk about this language understanding model. Just in this video, I'm going to highlight how to create the project. The next step, how to use this project in Bot from a Composer. Let's start. The first step, go to the language studio and choose the option conversation language understanding and make sure before creating the project you have to select the resource also so you have to select your visual studio subscription and uh, resource key once you select the project you can able to access these steps so first steps go to the conversation language understanding to create the new project in clu there are two options available. The first option, create a new project option. If you choose this option, you have to start from the scratch. So before start, you have to provide some basic information about this project, like which resource you want to use and name of your project and what is the primary language for this Louis. You want to enable the multiple language support or not. You have to choose all the option. After that, you have to go to the second step, review and finish. From there, you can start from the scratch. The second option is the import option. This import option, you have to choose whether you have already has a JSON file, the Louis supported JSON file. You can choose the file and import it. You can directly start the project. As I mentioned here, I have already imported one project called a flight booking. It's a default sample from Microsoft. I use the same file here, the flight booking JSON file, and I created the one project. Here there are steps about this uh, project. The first step is schema definition. Schema definition is contained the intern and entities. The main steps here is a training job. So before deployment, you have to use the training job to sign this project. You can use this start training job option. Just fill the, all the required information and sign it. So as I said earlier, I don't want to in detail about this language in studio. CLU concept, I skip these steps. So in this demo, you just use the sign a job, provide the training names. It will just a couple of minutes, it will ready. After that, go to the deployment model. This deployment model, you have to choose the add deployment. You have to provide your deployment name, the next model you have to choose. The model is here is a training job. I provide the train Louis. So you have to choose this model and provide the new deployment name here. Or you want to overwrite existing deployment, you can choose this option. It's up to you. So once you selected, you have to deploy. So once the deployment done, that deployment model is available. This is the first step to use the CLU in Bot Frame or Composer or any other project. The second step is important. So as I said earlier, we have to focus on this, how to use this CLU in Bot Composer. Second step, go to the Bot Composer. The Bot Composer, I have created the project called Bot CLU. The second step, go to the Package Manager. The Package Manager, you can just type CLU. You can see the package, recognizer.clu recognizer. You can choose this project. And note, this is a RC package. It's not recommended for the production. As for a demo, we can use this project. So first I install this package into Bot Composer. Installation is done. The main steps here, the configuration. So you have to copy this configuration and go to the project and choose the dialog, which dialog you want to handle the CLU. So I go with the main dialog. So I select this bot CLU. The next step, go to here, language understanding. Use the change button, change to custom recognizer, done. Here the configuration step. The first step is a kind, you should not change it. The second step is a project name. The project name is a CLU project name. While creating the project, we provide the project name. So in this example, I provide the flight booking, so my project name. So you have to enter the 
project name is a flight booking second step is a endpoint we have to provide this endpoint available in the azure resource if you go to the azure resource this resource i used in my clu try louis from there you can find the endpoint here so this is the endpoint the next is, is a endpoint key endpoint key, key also available in the azure resource here this is the key you can just copy and paste it here the final step is the deployment name go to the clu the deployment when name we provided deployment model we provided try demo one so we have to enter the deployment name here i have already filled all the information i just replace with this configuration so these are the information i filled The next step, I'm going to add the intent. Checkpoint here. You cannot go and directly add the intent as you want. You have to use the intent same which you provide in the CLU. For example, if I go to my CLU project, schema definition, the schema definition, you can see at the moment we define only three intent, book flight, cancel, get weather. This three only it will support at, at the time here. You want to add new intent. First step, you have to add into the CLU. Here you want you should add it. The next step, go to the composer and handle it here. Otherwise, it won't work. So just go to add the new trigger. Select the intent. Here I provide the intent is a book flight. So I use the same here. Intent name is book flight. Submit. send response like book intent that's it first we build the project and run it how it's work we'll see go to web chat i send the information book the flight from chennai to bangalore so this time this book intent should trigger Here you can see the information is coming. Book intent is working fine. The next step, we have to go to find entity also here. So Chennai and Bangalore, we have to print. To get the information, I'm going to add one more send a response. So just print the turn. Turn. I registered the bot. Open web chat, restart the conversation. Book flight from Chennai to Bangalore. That's it. So here you can see entities from city, Texas, Chennai, and two city is a Bangalore. This way you can get the entity also. Thank you.